Yannick Sinner and Carlos Alcaraz reflected on their rivalry together. Yannick Sinner and Carlos Alcaraz have reflected on their first-ever meeting at an ATP Challenger Tour event when they were teenagers. The young stars have gone on to become two of the best players in the world, splitting the four Grand Slam titles in 2024. But their rivalry started in the first round of the Alicante Challenger five years ago. Sinner has now admitted he had no idea who the Spaniard was, but he was keen to get to know him after being beaten by him and met his young rival in the locker room. Sinner and Alcaraz have formed one of the most exciting rivalries in tennis. They've already met ten times with the world number three leading their head-to-head -head by six wins to four losses. Both have reached the top of the rankings and won multiple Grand Slam titles. Alcaraz has four, and Sinner clinched his first two this year. They've faced off at majors, masters tournaments, and in finals. But their rivalry started on a modest clay court in Valena, where they were drawn to face each other in the first round of the Alicante Challenger in April 2019. Both had received wild cards into the main draw. Alcaraz was just 15 years old, and Sinner was 17. Playing on outdoor clay at the Juan Carlos Ferrero Academy, the Spaniard needed an hour and 50 minutes to seal a 6-2-3-6-6-3 victory. It was the first of many meetings. More than five years later, as they both competed at the season-ending championships in Turin, the rivals sat down to share their first impressions of each other. I saw the draw coming out and saw Carlos Alcaraz. I had no idea who he is, Sinner told CNN. I saw his age and said, wow, he's playing a challenger. It's amazing. Straight away, I was impressed. Although the world number one had never heard of his opponent, he quickly learned that Alcaraz was one to watch after losing to the then unranked Spaniard and wanted to share a locker room with him.